I'm telling you, if you're cross-watching for a Taurus or you're con if there's a Taurus in your life right now that is really driven, has really got their mindset on something, don't try and get in their way. Because whatever it is they're inspired to do right now, it's coming from the depths of their soul. It's coming from a higher, a higher place, a higher uh, alignment. And they're not going to let you stop them. So you might as well just let them go ahead and do it. Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? So welcome to April of 2021. Yeah, please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a general energy reading. So we are talking about whatever wants to come through. So whomever this message is for, whatever it is you need to hear right now, that's what we're going to be talking about. And because of that, we also could be talking to the cross watcher here. Yes. So please just place it in your life as it fits. Yeah. So if it doesn't necessarily fit the way that I'm narrating it, but it does fit if you switch the roles, then place it that way. Yes. Just make sure not to try and force anything into your life that does not naturally fit there. Yeah. So if you are interested in getting a private reading with me, I am available for that. All the information is in the description box below. Also, if you're vibing with me as a reader, I uh, highly recommend that you check me out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. I no longer have daily readings over on Patreon as of April 1st. Daily readings in the form of morning coffee has returned to YouTube, but there is still a bunch of great extra content over on Patreon, uh, including monthly love readings for all of the zodiac signs. So if you're interested in that, or if you're interested in just supporting the channel at further, go ahead and check out Patreon. We have a lot of great fun there. So for this month's reading, I'm going to be using the Golden Art, I'm sorry, yes, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. And then for Oracle Guidance, because we are now in the spring season, I felt like the unicorns would be excellent guides for us to wrap up our readings. So we're going with the Oracle of the Unicorns. Yes? Excellent. All right, guys, let's get into this here. So Taurus, I have your pre-shuffle here. Um, and it, it, it looks, it feels like, and it looks like you are activated in a certain way. You're inspired to move in a different direction. You're inspired to leave certain things behind and you're not fucking around. Like you're not trying to take any shit from anybody in terms of the direction that you're moving in. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Knight of Wands. Okay, and I feel what I'm feeling here, what I want to say for you, Taurus, is that whatever activation you're feeling, it's lit up your soul. It's coming from a place of deep within yourself, maybe even deep within your subconscious. There could be some things within the subconscious that are emerging for you right now. Underneath the Knight of Wands is the High Priestess. Underneath the High Priestess is the Four of Swords to the Eight of Swords to the Devil. So it feels like you're coming out of a period right now, Taurus, where you've really been working on um, getting in tune with your higher self, getting in tune with higher values or higher wisdom in terms of the universe here and that has uh, you may you may be you may be coming out of a little bit of a hermit mode a lot of us have been going through that over the month of march and now in april we're emerging in you know the spring seasons uh, we've been in a little bit of a cocoon energy and now we're emerging a new version of ourselves but for you specifically taurus um, you have this four of swords eight of swords and the devil so it seems that you've been working on uh fighting against uh, any sense of conformity, addictions, um, uh, feeling trapped or, or bogged down or um, chained to anything that doesn't serve you. You've been working, it really feels like you've been working pretty hard to release yourself from this. So that's why in terms of this activation that you feel, Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, you're walking away from things that no longer serve you and you are fighting you're fighting for it or you're ready to fight for it. If anybody were to come and get in your way or step to you or try to, you know, try and keep you from moving in this direction, you would not be afraid to throw down, to defend yourself, okay? I don't feel like you're 
I don't feel like you're like looking for a fight, Taurus, but I do feel like if somebody were to come at you with some mess, you wouldn't you wouldn't hesitate to handle that, to put that person in their place or and I mean be careful, but at the same time when Taurus look, when Taurus is serious about something and they really like decide to start moving, it may be difficult to get them moving at first, but once they start moving, man, it's pretty hard to stop them, okay? Especially, and that's and that goes for all the fixed signs, really. I mean, fixed signs have it ha, can potentially, you know, deal with a lot of inertia. But again, once you once they get moving, or once a direction has been set, a course has been set, fixed signs really do a lot to make sure that you follow through with that course, that you stay on that course, right? That's fixed energy. So that's where it feels like you are right now, Taurus. You do have the Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles that have come out here. Um, I do, Taurus, this is you, okay? The King of Pentacles does officially represent your energy. It could, it, re it could represent any Earth sign, just like the Page of Pentacles could also represent you. But, but more specifically, the Page of Pentacles, in my opinion, represents Virgo because Virgo is the mutable sign. I see the Pages and the Knights as the mutable signs. But what it feels like this is saying for you right now, Taurus, is that you're in in, you're much more solid, stable, and secure, and grounded in yourself, in who you know you are, and you're taking a new opportunity, or you're starting a new project, you're going in a new direction. Underneath the deck right now is the Emperor also. So this is that power and authority you're feeling for yourself right now. This is you having control over your life, um, being in the driver's seat, if you want to say that. And then the the um, King of Pentacles aspect of the Emperor is coming through here, helping you to stay solid and grounded and secure within yourself and within, I just heard, within your life decisions so that you can move forward in a brand new way. Start a new creative project, turn over a new leaf, um, experience this new vibration or this new reality reality that you are within. This is great. This is absolutely really truly wonderful. All right, so I'm just going to give this one cleansing shuffle and then we're going to get into the rest of your reading here, Taurus. Yeah? Excellent. All right, here we go. See? Oh, hold on a second. Sorry. One of my neighbors was giving me some fresh fruit from our backyard. Okay, anyway, let's get into this, Taurus. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representations of the general energies for Taurus for the month of April of 2021. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Taurus, so I'm hearing things for you right now that are that are along the lines of Taurus energy is very stable, secure, and grounded. I also did hear a, found, a foundational process has come to pass. So you've been going through a period right now of solidifying and reshaping, reworking your foundation. I'm seeing Three of Pentacles energy in you, my mind right now. Three of Pentacles is entrepreneurship. It's also teamwork, but it's also a sense of self-mastery. And I feel like you've been really re reworking your foundation to a place where it's in much greater alignment with who you truly are as a soul or on a soul level, okay? And that's beautiful. And it feels like with, with spirit, what I'm hearing the message is the foundational period has come to pass, meaning it was a successful one. So that's why you're emerging from this energy feeling ready to really move forward and even in some cases i am hearing you're aggressively doing it like you're really putting the pedal to the metal and it's almost as if like you're you're a bulldozer or or you're a wrecking ball or like you're a freight train that's just like moving and anything that gets in your way gets demolished five shuffles one yeah the bull is charging this is two 
for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April of 2021. I wanted to just say February again, and I that happened, I think that was with Scorpio too, which is interesting because Scorpio is your exact opposite in the Zodiac. Um, something, this may have started in February, this may have come to a head in February, and you've been spending the month of February or however much time in February, and then the month of March dealing with it. Yeah. Salud! It's three. Four. For my Taurus. And five. All right. So, let's cut the deck here. Overall energy for you, Taurus. We've got the Page of Cups. Okay. Um, so I just heard a new love offer could be coming through for you here. Um, this is a sense of potentially could even be a new emotional reality for you. A sense of innocence that was once gained, once was lost, is now gained, is now has now been found. Um, reconnection with your inner child. I'm also feeling. Uh, new creative inspiration coming through for you here. You could be working on starting a new creative project with this Page of Cups. Okay, underneath the Page of Cups, there's that Knight of Swords again. Underneath this Knight of Swords, the High Priestess. And then underneath the High Priestess is Justice. And what I'm feeling specifically, ooh, 1111. What I'm feeling specifically for you, Taurus, is that there is part of this... Um, aggressive energy with this knight of swords here is not only defending your right to choose and your right to move in whatever direction you feel guided to move in but also you're strongly there's a strong i feel there's a strong connection with your inner child that you're really vibing with and you're doing everything in your power to make sure that child has the freedom it needs to flourish in ways that it may not have been able to flourish before it's your connection with the higher realms um, a higher sense of wisdom understanding and knowledge that's allowing you to really really value this inner child energy or this new creative energy and quite frankly anyone that gets in your way gets demolished justice and this justice is serving this new alignment that you found within yourself queen of wands because you see clearly king of swords all of the burdens that you have been carrying that were not necessary and you've effectively closed out that chapter ten of pentacles okay excellent taurus so let's get into the rest of this here first set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading taurus we have there's that knight of wands again all right so already all the, the main components that came out except for the eight of cups but the main components that came out in your pre-shuffle have already re-emerged the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. But I'm telling you, if you're cross-watching for a Taurus, or you're con if there's a Taurus in your life right now that is really driven, has really got their mindset on something, don't try and get in their way. Because whatever it is they're inspired to do right now, it's coming from the depths of their soul. It's coming from a higher, higher place, a higher uh, alignment. And they're not going to let you stop them. So you might as well just let them go ahead and do it. This, I feel like this... That message specifically is for a parent of a Taurus child who is who, who is the parent of a Tauran um, who has a, this really strong sense of direction. Now, it, this is actually, I'm getting a specific message for a parent here. There may not be much define, definition in terms of the, the direction that they're moving in, the high priestess. There are still some unknown elements here. And this might be really strange and really unusual for a Taurus to be aligned with, and for a Taurus to be flowing with. But what's making this easier for this individual is the fact that they are connected to their inner child. They're connected to the wonder and the excitement and the mystery of the universe, okay? They're not allowing that to hold them back because they have come to a place of understanding higher principles and having a higher sense of faith in themselves and in the universe. So if you have a child that is in this energy right now, please do not try to stop them. Please do not try to hold them back. Please do not try to put too much structure on top of them. Allow them to flow, okay? 
this inspiration is true. It's true to who they are. It's coming from the depths of their soul. Do not try to get involved. Do not try to interject. Allow them to flow through this as they need to. This is their process, not yours, okay? Knight of Wands is coupled with the moon. I'm hearing this is an inner calling. This is something, whatever this person or whatever it is you're moving through right now, this is something that's not going to, that does not have rhyme or reason. That's not going to make logical sense. This is something that they're being called on from the deepest parts of themselves. This is something that they're, this is a call that they're answering that is being put on them by their intuition, by higher sources that are unknown, by mysterious sources. And we may not even know how things are going to end up, but we know that we want to move in this direction because it's like there's this, I guess I kind of want to say there's this like animalistic, there's this pull on like this animalistic side or this instinctual side of us or of this person or of you that is moving you in this direction. Okay. The moon here is not a bad thing. We're not talking about, we're not talking about deceit. We're not talking about sorrow. We're not talking about a night, of, a, a dark night of the soul. What I'm feeling from the moon is instinct. Like animal instinct. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. We have the page of pentacles again. There you go. Starting a new project. Some of you may even be starting a new business or starting a new creative project that could end up turning into a business or could end up making you money. Okay. Page of pentacles is coupled with. There you go. The three of pentacles. There's that three of pentacles energy that I was seeing in my head. So yes, working on this new foundation has helped you get to this new place here of being in a new energetic vibration, feeling like you leveled up, feeling like you're in a new space and you're trying something new and you may need to get your footing again, but that doesn't mean that you don't have the knowledge that you have, that you gained from the past. It doesn't mean that you're starting completely from scratch. You still have a greater awareness that is going to help you moving forward here, okay? Uh, your challenge here, Taurus, in the first half of your reading is the Six of Wands interesting now why would that be a challenge because i'm feeling some people are going to try to oppose you some people are going to come in and try to say try to tell you what's right and what's wrong and that's when and if you do that that's where you're going to get the brutal side of this energy of the tauren because you don't get to tell them what's right or wrong here anybody that's going to try and take this victory from you is going to be left hurting in some way. And I'm not advocating for physical violence. I'm not advocating for violence at all. But this person is driven. This person has found a sense of victory. If you want, I'm feeling very specifically, if you want to stay on this person's good side, don't try to, to, to doubt them. Don't try to deny them. Don't try to diminish where it is they find themselves right now. Okay? I want to say you have every right to feel proud of yourself. You have every right to want to take a victory lap in right now. All right. Good Lord, the mosquito hunt. Six of Wands in your challenge is coupled with the Five of Pentacles. You know, um... So this, this energy that I'm picking up on of somebody trying to doubt you, somebody trying to be like a downer right now, it's coming from their place of lack mentality. And someone may be trying to look down upon you and say, how can you be so proud of, of this when people like us are suffering? Well, the reason why people are suffering still is because they choose to stay in this energy. Remember, Taurus, that the reason why you're in this new energy here, the reason why you're moving in a new direction or find yourself in on, on a new playing field is because you've been doing the work. So that's why the challenge here for you, Taurus, is going to be, or potentially could be, at, the, at this point at least, facing the opposition in terms of individuals that choose to stay here. Five of Pentacles leave themselves out in the cold, not do what it is they need to do to pull themselves up energetically. 
I feel like you're going to have people that are that are going to be almost I want to say in your face as a stark con in a stark contrast to where you are and the challenge here is to not allow yourself to feel guilty or feel bad about it because ultimately you got yourself here okay closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading you have the emperor there's that emperor energy again and you have every right to be in this control aspect in this authoritarian aspect again because you've done the work i'm also getting a a fatherly energy from the emperor it does represent the father but i feel like in some cases taurus you may be in a position to be this type of authority for other people i feel like you have a lot to teach here you could really help guide these people out of this five of pentacles energy but it's not it's not gonna it's by it's by setting the rules it's about telling setting the record straight or telling it like it is it's by setting those boundaries and saying look this is what i did to get here this is not this is not anything that you can't do either yeah the emperor is coupled with the star and also taurus it's this emperor energy this authority these boundaries this sense of control this sense of again this sense of authority that's allowing you to move in terms of where it is your wish fulfillment is. Which direction your wish fulfillment lies in. This is the energy of you being the authority of your life and saying, I am following my intuition. I am following my instincts. I'm going where my heart is guiding me to go. And you're setting the boundaries and you're setting the committed energy to follow through with that. Okay. I also really feel like certain some of you are a shining example as to what it is they need to do or what it is they can do or where it is they can get to should they do this healing work. So again, do not allow their opposition to diminish your personal victory. Okay. Okay. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. Yes, first set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. We have the devil. Okay. This is, I just heard, this is what you're coming out of. This is what you're no longer chained to. The devil is coupled with temperance. So, uh, specifically, what I'm feeling here for you, Taurus, is the, the, the healing or the... The transformation that you have gone through heavily involves integrating with some of your darker elements. Which has released you, what I, what I just heard is, which has released you from a mental prison that is allowing you to, th to, to thrive more with your inner child and more with this sense of new creativity. Okay. You did, you've done a lot of shadow work and that's helped you to emerge successful and in a brand new way. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the second half of your reading. Aha, there you go, there's the tower. And, and things are able to change for you here because of the fact that you have done, integrated a lot of this shadow energy, okay? There's a lot of major arcana here for you, to, uh, Taurus, but there's that tower. The tower is coupled with the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. So this definitely feels specifically that a lot of what has been holding you back were old belief systems, um, old structures, whatnot, whatever. And because this has been able to come down, because you've been able to make this massive or sudden change because you were able to integrate some of your shadow side or more of your shadow side that is providing you with a brand new opportunity i literally just heard and wanted to say a brand new lease on life excellent your challenge here taurus in the second half of your reading is the seven of swords but this uh, honestly this feels like deception from other people 
And specifically what this feels like, Taurus, is deception in terms of people saying or believing or getting you to believe that they're on your side when really they're just looking for a free ride or they're looking to get whatever they can from you without actually doing the work. It feels like it's they're they're trying to get away with, you know, um, reaping some of the benefits of your personal victory without having done the work themselves. Okay, so be careful of that. Seven of Swords is coupled with the Four of Swords. Okay. So you, what I'm feeling very specifically is that you're going to have to really sit down and I want to say troubleshoot. You may want to still keep to yourself a little bit, Taurus, because it feels like what this is saying here, your challenge is going to be sitting down and really deciphering who or what is, who's actually being honest with you, who's really being truthful with you, and who's just trying to get a free ride. Okay, closing message or potential outcome for you, Taurus, in the second half of your reading. You have the Two of Cups. Balance, harmony, union within. I do also feel, for some of you, there is some sort of relationship coming through at some point, eventually. But that would really be an effect of the, you doing a lot of this shadow work that has helped you clear away a lot of the tower energy or a lot of the things that were standing in the way of you getting what it is that you want romantically or maybe even creatively, okay? Two of Cups is coupled with the Seven of Pentacles. So, uh, yeah, this also, this Two of Cups energy does represent integration and harmony of masculine and feminine within that is now being expressed in a very physical way. And that's because of this, the steps that you've taken to understand what it is that was no longer working for you to now clear those energies away and start, turn over a new leaf and start moving in a different direction or start doing things differently so that you can get that different result instead of getting the same result over and over and over. Yeah? Excellent, Taurus. All right. So let's close out this reading here and get you your Oracle Guidance. Three shuffles. One. Two. And three. All right, Taurus. So... Closing Oracle Guidance here for my Taurians. There we go. We have abundance. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. Let's read that from the book. I think Aries got the same card. The unicorns bring you great blessings of abundance and invite you to open your arms wide to receive it all. They remind you that you live in a world of plenty. All of the prosperity you have ever dreamed of or desired is right here for you now. The resources you ask for are here in energetic form, waiting for you to allow them to manifest in your world. Dare to believe and be open to receiving in unexpected ways. This rainbow unicorn calls on you to tear down the illusion of scarcity and know that you are an infinite being receiving from an infinite source in infinite ways. There is no such thing as, quote, too much to the universe. It is not greedy, selfish, or unspiritual to want a prosperous life full of riches and blessings. You do not help anyone else to have more by blocking your flow and having less yourself. The universe is constantly expanding and creating, and waves of abundance are always flowing in your direction. When you are fully aligned with the divine, your prosperity grows and flows unchecked too. 
you are of greater service to the world when you are living in a state of abundance, freedom, and joy that when, uh, and joy than when you are worrying about paying your bills. Live from this knowing today and let yourself receive. Feel the joy and positive expectation that comes with knowing abundance of all kinds is already here and more is on its way. Raise your thoughts, feelings, and energy into alignment with plenty. Give thanks for your wealth in advance. Take aligned action when guided to and invite your bounty to pour in. Beautiful. So there you have it, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. Um, uh, make sure to check out Patreon if you're interested. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. Also, I am available for private readings. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Bye.